Hello Internet, Big Dave here and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I only paid $4.49 for Blocks That Matter. Blocks That Matter normally retails for $4.99, so it was a meager saving of, uh, of 50 cents, but I consider every penny that I make and every one that goes into my pocket to be precious, so I saved 50 of them and I can live with that. Blocks That Matter was developed by Swing Swing Submarine, a couple of foreign chaps, I'm not really sure where they're from, I'm gonna guess like Denmark? I don't know. But there's a really interesting story surrounding the creation of Blocks That Matter. You see, Swing Swing uh, Submarine was actually working on a game called Seasons After Fall, a 2D adventure platform game that involved you taking control of a, a wild fox. And it had mechanics in it that allowed you to use the changing of the seasons to solve the levels. The one video that I saw of it looked really, really good. You see, I do a little bit of research on every game that I play, so sometimes you uncover interesting stories like this. So, unfortunately, the development of Seasons After Fall was derailed even after they had showed a playable demo at a, uh, at, at a game festival. It was derailed due to the sort of stuff that happens in life. Apparently, they owed some taxes, uh, you know, just the sort of things that happens to all of us as we become adults and it caused them to have to take time from developing the game, take resources from developing the game. And so when they made that decision to, to shelve the game for a short time, but to ultimately complete it, and to complete it in a way that it would uh, satisfy them, it, to make it the great game that they wanted it to be, they needed something to do in the meantime, something to raise funds. And Blocks That Matter is the game that resulted from that. So they secretly or semi-secretly developed Blocks That Matter in the months following their decision to shelve Seasons After Fall. And this is what we have now. We have Blocks That Matter. And uh, a, a very interesting little story that this game is uh, a side effect, essentially. This is a means to an end. But this game in and of itself looks really, really promising and really entertaining. So I think that they gave this their all, even though it wasn't exactly uh, their primary project. I am excited to see Seasons After Fall, and we'll certainly play that when it comes out. But in the meantime, we are talking about blocks that matter, so let's get right into it. I've poked around in the game just a little bit, but haven't actually done anything uh, in, in terms of gameplay. I've seen some videos on this game, I'm somewhat familiar with the concepts, but let's go ahead and get into things here. So there you have our plot. I hope you guys had your peepers open in their little uh, workspace there. There were several little geek game references, uh, including the Space Invaders, uh, Uncle Sam, I Want You. Take a look back, look at the things that you might have missed. There were some interesting little things in there. So uh, yeah, so there's your, there's your gimmick. Uh, if you didn't sort of get it, um, Alexi on the, on the uh, left side of the screen, is supposed to be the developer of Tetris, and on the right side of the screen, Marcus is Notch, the developer of Minecraft. Thus, this game is an amalgamation of the two. You play the little driller robot, and uh, you walk around, and jump around, and drill around, and you are attempting to, uh, obviously, as it said, get to your developers and save them. So an interesting little uh, 
little storyline here as we start the game. So let's take a look. Let's jump around, see what we can see, see what we can figure out. Hey, that's some sort of a run. Okay, W makes the screen shake violently. Okay. And makes me explode. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so I did look at the controls, but uh, for the life of me, I can't remember any of them. I know there's a button somewhere that will allow me to do something. Okay, well, let's just hop around and let's see what we can see. Oh, okay. Boop, boop. Oh, and I got a block. Okay, okay. There we go. Okay, a little, little Mario head bop in action there. Uh, okay. I guess that thing wants my blocks. I suppose we can go and give it what it wants. Robot. We have the ability to collect bo blocks. The blocks are displayed at the bottom of the screen. Break them with your head. With your drill. Okay, we must. We upgraded ourselves to get the drill. I see. Oh, someone's coming. Collect the blocks of matter, uh, blocks of matter, using your head and your drill. Space to jump F to drill. Okay, convenient. There's another upgrade machine in the lab. It will activate with three blocks of wood and sand. Jump in it and we'll contact you again. Okay. Good luck indeed. So now, there we go. <laughs> I like the little effect when you hit the uh, hit the edge there. Okay, I also like that stone doesn't doesn't react to gravity, but sand does. A bit of a nerdy Minecraft reference there. Very clever. Alright, I've got three and three, so that means I can upgrade once more. A little drilling here. Whew, okay, luckily... Tetrobot seems to be able to fall as far as he wants. Ooh, that was close. I'm assuming if that had fallen on my head, it would have killed me. Oh, what upgrade will we get this time? Collecting bo blocks is interesting. Recycle the blocks into shapes. Switch to puzzle mode using E, and he'll explain the rest. Okay. Grid and a weird cursor. Okay. Three basic rules to remember. S press space to pose a block. W to cancel your last action. A block has to be connected to another one. It can it can be on the ground, on walls, roofs, or another block of collected matter. Okay. Just look at the cursor. Green means okay, red means not okay. Rule three. Most important, you have to lay four blocks at a time. This is because you've been programmed using Pajitnovian physics and can only create shapes that are 
Oh, nice. Okay. Simply hit efficient. Uh huh. Cre create a tetra tetramino. Mm -hmm. Using four blocks in puzzle mode and use it to jump in the portal to your left. Lay four blocks. Press E to leave puzzle mode. All right, so I have to make. Right, I have to make Tetra shapes. So what are Tetra shapes? We have the L shape. Uh, we have the square shape. We have the long block. Let's go with the... Try that. Can I jump up there? No, I can't. But I suppose if efficiency is not called for, I can make another... And I can do that. So I'm, I'm supposing I could have made an inverted, uh, an inverted L shape. Well, I guess it wouldn't be inverted. It would actually be an L shape. And that would have got me through the puzzle all the same. So what are we thinking about this game so far? So far, very nice, very cool. Uh, that was very, uh, it's a very interesting concept, and I like the, the tutorial, the way it's done. I like the whole concept that two inventors have to have the robot help them save them. You know, they've been kidnapped to develop a, a game for the big bad uh, mob boss. Okay, they seem to have imprisoned us. Create as many point portals as needed. Their Wi-Fi was not powerful enough. <laughs> Signal's too weak to, for them to control. Nano reset explosion. Oh, nice. Okay, so W to explode myself. Which I don't want to do right now. I want to collect blocks. Because I'm certain... I shall need those blocks. All right, now here's a chance to correct our previous mistake. So we can make this shape. There we go, very nice. Something really important, all right. Dr okay, so I can't drill while jumping. Black. They created black holes each time they tried. I need to create a step or... Okay. So I can only drill from a stationary position. Alright, I've got four blocks. Is there any Tetris shape I could create? that would get me to the goal. Let us see. So I could do boom, 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 boom. Yes, I could. All right, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, you guys thought I was screwing myself over, huh? Making that too tall, right? Yeah, but I knew. I totally planned that. I left that little block over there just for that purpose. Y'all don't always know. Sometimes I'm paying attention. Sometimes I actually know what I'm doing, you know? You know, you guys gotta give me some credit. Give me some credit here. I haven't been outside for a long time. Alright, so sand will fall. Okay, so if you try to make a... Okay. Oh, so use okay R and T to change what you're using. So sand doesn't function the same. Sand will fall. So you only want to use sand in a in a place where it can be supported. I see. I see. This game is really uh, considering that it's supposed to be you know I really want that now I'm, I'm like puzzling over how to get that damn it 
Ugh. Okay, well, I don't want to, uh... I don't want to slow the video down, but I really want that. I know you guys are sitting there going, Oh, you just gotta do this and you'll get it. It won't be any problem. I'm sorry, okay? So sand, so I want to use sand as my foundation here. Sand, sand, sand. Stone. And there you have it. Through the portal. Alright guys, I think we're going to do one last level. Some blocks fall, some blocks do not. And then we'll call it quits. I think you got the idea of what this game is. This is truly uh, what you see is what you get so far. I have no doubt that the puzzles will get more complex. Things will get quite a bit more interesting. So we'll finish up this level. So we have obsidian. It can't be drilled at all. If you're stuck, make the explosion. Alright. So I can't drill obsidian at all. But it falls. Okay. Interesting. Alright, and I will need to... Huh. I need a shape... Here. Sand. Stone. Stone and wood. Solid. Solid indeed. Okay. Huh. Seems like this might be one of those instances where I would be using that old W key. I only have three blocks. Hmm. Okay, well, let's explode and try it again. Alright, I wonder what did I do wrong? Okay, all right, it's this away. All right, so we can make our shape again, our box. Okay. So, once I've made this, can I just. Ah, okay. I don't know if that's the correct answer, but that would appear to be a answer. That was... One might think that was luck, but that was planned. That was skill all the way. Oh, I was supposed to get that one first. That's it. Man, but then I don't know what shape to make. I'm fouling up on the tutorial levels. Ugh. This is not good. Not good at all. Okay. Build the shape. And I don't need that extra block. But now what shape can I build?
Oh wait, okay. I'm not I'm I'm still thinking inside the box. Okay, perhaps I've had I've had the breakthrough. There we go. Because I can just drill through that. There you go. All right. Yeah. The brain functioning <laughs> slimes don't kiss slimes are cute but don't kiss them okay so I'll explode okay so we don't like slimes so they will kill us Oh, good lord. Ooh. Try to find a way around this jelly mountain. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Um, Tetris. question is, can I get up there to jump on that? There we go. Alright. You know what? Just to be safe, this is one of those games where I'm going to be paranoid. I'm going to constantly be taking extra blocks with me, just so that I don't ever run into a scenario where I don't have enough blocks to complete a puzzle. You move faster when drilling. Give things a nice name. <sighs> Alright, so... Yay! I made it. And then I suppose... A Tetris block is in order here. Tetris block. Making a Tetris block. But I can't drill through that. How does one get through there? Hmm. Drill, 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 baby, drill. As they say. Alright. So, I suppose any simple Tetris shape shall do us. I like that one. It's one of my favorite Tetris shapes, you know? I don't know why. All right, guys, so that's going to do it. I think that is going to do it. What do we think about this game? What do we think about blocks that matter? Well, I've really, really enjoyed this game. This game retails for five bucks. You know, after you learn the story of Swing Swing Submarine, they're a charming little company. You really root for them. You want them to win, and you know that your money is going towards these guys living out their dreams to these guys making a game that they're really passionate about. But in a funny way, they made a really great game in support of their game that hasn't even been released yet. So this is a fantastic game. I can highly recommend it. I would most definitely give it five bucks out of five. All right, guys, again, I would highly recommend you take a look at Blocks That Matter. Please consider it. It is definitely a 5 out of 5. I just repeated myself, like, straight up there. Anyways, I do that all the time, so you guys should be used to it. If not, what the hell? All right, I think I am Big Dave. Yes, I am. I am, in fact, Big Dave. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's going to do it. Big Dave, shut your mouth. Sign out. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, take it easy.